This Chinese skyscraper builds itself. And no, that's not clickbait. While the rest of the world spends years erecting buildings floor by floor, China has cracked the code on something that sounds impossible. A 57-story tower that rises three floors per day. 19 days. That's all it takes. You're about to see technology that doesn't just speed up construction, it fundamentally breaks every rule you thought you knew about how buildings come into existence. But before we watch a skyscraper assemble itself like a giant puzzle, you need to understand where this story really begins. You're standing on a construction site, but there's no construction happening. No workers pouring concrete, no scaffolding climbing toward the sky, no dust clouds choking the air. Because the building you're waiting for, it's not being built here at all. It's being born 200 miles away, inside a massive factory you've never heard of. This is where the revolution starts, not on construction sites, in warehouses where buildings are manufactured like cars on an assembly line. Picture this. A module the size of your living room, but it's made entirely of stainless steel. Workers are welding the frame together with millimeter precision. This isn't a piece of a building. This is a complete room floor, walls, ceiling, everything. And they're building thousands of them. Each module starts as a skeleton, a stainless steel frame engineered to support not just itself, but the weight of dozens of floors stacked above it. The steel they're using isn't ordinary. It's called B-Core technology, and it's about to change everything you think you know about strength. But here's where it gets interesting. They're not just building the structure. While the frame takes shape, another team moves in. They're installing electrical wiring every outlet, every switch, every connection, pre-wired and tested before this module ever sees daylight. You're watching electricians do, in a climate-controlled factory, what normally takes weeks on a construction site. Then come the plumbers, water lines, drainage systems, every pipe fitted, connected, and pressure tested. In a traditional building, this happens floor by floor, weather permitting, with workers coordinating across dozens of trades. Here, it's all happening in one place, in one module, right now. The HVAC team follows. Ventilation ducts snake through the ceiling space. Air conditioning systems slot into pre-designed cavities. Climate control isn't an afterthought. It's built into the DNA of every single module. Now, watch what happens next. Six-inch insulation panels slide into the walls, not the thin stuff you see in normal buildings. These walls are designed to create an airtight seal so perfect that the building will claim 99.9% .9 pure interior air. In a country choking on smog, that's not a feature, it's a lifeline. The windows arrive. But these aren't regular windows. Quadruple pane glass. Four layers of protection against heat, cold, and sound. Each one is lifted by machine and locked into the frame with precision that human hands alone could never achieve. Then something remarkable happens. The interior finishes go in drywall, paint, flooring, light fixtures. This module is becoming a finished room while it's still in the factory. No construction dust settling on fresh paint. No weather damage, no vandalism, no delays. You're looking at a room that's 95% complete. But the factory isn't done with its magic yet. The secret that makes it unstoppable. Here's the problem. You've just built a fully finished room that weighs several tons. How do you move it? Traditional construction exists on site for a reason. You can't exactly ship a completed room across the country. The logistics would be impossible. The cost would be insane. Unless you could fold it. Watch what happens next. The module you just saw, complete with wiring, plumbing, windows, everything begins to collapse in on itself. Walls fold inward. Structural elements compress. The ceiling lowers. In minutes, this fully equipped room has transformed into something the exact size and shape of a shipping container. This is the breakthrough that makes everything possible. Suddenly, the entire global shipping infrastructure becomes available. Container ships, freight trains, Trucks designed to haul standard containers. A building can now travel anywhere in the world using existing transportation networks. But the folding mechanism is just the beginning of what makes these modules indestructible. Remember that B-Core steel technology? Here's what it actually means. 
The steel slabs in these modules are 10 times lighter than conventional materials. You'd think that means weaker, right? Wrong. They're 100 times stronger. Let that sink in for a moment. Lighter and stronger aren't supposed to go together. But the engineering behind B-Core steel breaks that rule. It's a lattice structure, honeycombed with precision-designed voids that distribute force in ways solid steel never could. When weight presses down on these modules, the load doesn't concentrate in one spot. It spreads, flows, dissipates through the entire structure like water finding every possible path. This means something extraordinary. Each module doesn't just support itself. It supports the modules above it, beside it, and helps carry the weight of the entire building. But the engineers weren't satisfied with just vertical strength. They stress-tested these modules against earthquakes, not minor tremors, not moderate shakes, but earthquakes measuring 9 on the Richter scale, the kind that flatten cities and topple traditional skyscrapers. The modules didn't just survive. They thrived. The secret is in how they connect. Each module has pre-installed connection points, steel plates with precisely drilled holes, positioned at exact coordinates. When two modules meet, these plates align perfectly. Bolts slide through. And when those bolts tighten, something incredible happens. The two modules don't just sit next to each other. They become one unified structure. The connection is so strong that the joint is actually stronger than the modules themselves. You could try to tear the building apart at those connection points, and the modules would fail before the connections did. But there's one more piece of genius built into every single module. The modules are designed to be self-supporting during assembly. Traditional construction needs scaffolding, external support, temporary structures to hold everything in place until it's finished. These modules, they support themselves the instant they're stacked. The first module touches the foundation and establishes its own stability. The second module stacks on top and locks in, creating a two-story structure that needs no external help. The third module makes it stronger. The fourth, stronger still. Every module added doesn't just build upward, it reinforces everything below it. You're watching construction physics get turned upside down. Buildings that grow stronger as they grow taller. Rooms that travel the world in shipping containers. Steel that defies every expectation of weight and strength. But none of this matters if you can't put it together. The day the building builds itself. The modules are manufactured. They're loaded on trucks. They're arriving at the construction site. And this is where you witness something that looks like science fiction. The foundation is ready. That's the only traditional construction that happened here. Concrete poured weeks ago, cured, waiting. But everything else you're about to see, it's unlike anything you've witnessed before. Day 1, 6 a.m. The first truck backs onto the site. A crane, massive, computer-guided, precise swings into position. The module is still folded, compressed into its shipping container form. Then it unfolds. Hydraulics hiss, walls extend outward, the ceiling rises. In less than 10 minutes, that container has transformed back into a complete room, ready for installation. The crane's hooks attach to pre-installed lifting points on the module's frame. These aren't random spots, they're calculated positions where the lift force distributes evenly across the entire structure. No stress points, no risk of deformation. The crane lifts, slowly. Smoothly, the module rises into the air. But here's where the technology gets eerie. The crane isn't being operated by human guesswork. GPS guidance systems are tracking the module's position in three-dimensional space, accurate to within millimeters. The module floats toward its destination on the foundation. Workers on the ground aren't wrestling it into place. They're watching, waiting. Because the module is guiding itself, Alignment pin steel rods protruding from the foundation slide into receptor holes on the module's underside. You hear it before you see it. A metallic click as the module finds its exact position. Not close. Not approximately correct. Perfect. Workers move in. But they're not constructing anything. They're just securing what's already aligned. Bolts slide through those pre-drilled holes you learned about. Power tools were... 
In under 15 minutes, the first module is permanently locked to the foundation. One room complete. But the clock is ticking, and the site is about to explode with activity. The second truck arrives. Then the third. Then the fourth. Multiple cranes are now operating simultaneously. While one crane is lowering a module onto the second floor, another is positioning a module on the opposite side of the building. A third crane is lifting the next module into the air, staged and ready. This is the assembly line, verticalized. Watch what happens on the building's edge. A module lands on the second floor. Those connection plates you learned about? They're already aligned with the module below. Bolts punch through. Workers tighten them in sequence corners first, then edges, then center points. The connection takes six minutes. Six minutes to permanently join two floors of a building. While that's happening, the adjacent module is already descending. The cranes never stop. The trucks keep coming. Modules stack like Lego blocks, but each one weighs tons and locks with engineering precision that Lego could never match. By noon, you're looking at three complete floors. But here's what's really happening that you can't see. Inside those modules, the electrical systems are already talking to each other. Pre-installed connection points between modules have clicked together. Wiring that was tested in the factory is now part of a growing electrical grid. The plumbing connections are just as elegant. Quick Connect fittings, the same technology that lets you swap out a kitchen faucet in minutes, are joining water lines between floors. Seals engage automatically. Pressure tests that normally take days? Already done in the factory. The HVAC ducts align and lock. Airflow that was calculated months ago in computer simulations is now reality. The building isn't just structurally complete as it rises, it's functionally complete. Day 2. Another three floors. Day 3. Three more. The rhythm never breaks. Module arrives, unfolds, lifts, aligns, locks, secured. Next module. Again. 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 There's no waiting for concrete to cure because there is no concrete. There's no weather delays for interior work because the interior was finished in a factory. There's no coordination delays between electrical, plumbing, and HVAC teams because they all worked on the same module at the same time weeks ago. You're watching construction time collapse. By day seven, you're looking at 21 floors. A building that would take six months using traditional methods is one-third complete in a single week. But the most remarkable thing isn't the speed. It's the silence. No jackhammers. No cement mixers. No grinding, cutting, or drilling. Just the hum of cranes, the click of modules locking into place, and the systematic rhythm of assembly. The building isn't being constructed. It's being revealed like a sculpture that was always there, just waiting to be assembled. Day 19 arrives. The final module rises into the air. 57 stories below, workers watch from the ground. The crane positions it with the same millimeter precision as the very first module. It descends, aligns, locks. The building is complete. 